Hi guys, El Shanko here and welcome to a special transfers edition of my Football Manager 2017 save with Manchester United. Now, as you can see from the schedule, um, we are into the second season now. Um, last season we just ended up, um, just quickly I'll just show you this just now. Um, we ended up just drawing the last two, or well, two of the last three games, 0-0 and 1-1. Nothing special happened in the Everton game. Liverpool game we got a goal for uh, young Nishan Burkett um, and the last game was a disaster. We lost 6-0 to Liverpool, big rivals, not happy, but it was a young team, who gives a toss, it was the last game of the season, deal with it. So this season we've obviously got a whole of friendly still to play, got a testimonial from Michael Carrick against West Ham, thought that was quite apt. Um, and then obviously we'll start off with the Community Shield against Tottenham. First league game is against Liverpool. So obviously big rivalry there. But what I wanted to do with this one is just take you through the signings that we've made um, in the close. Now obviously this isn't the total final signings. This is just the signings that we've made up till the 1st of July. And also take you through the players that have left the club so far. So without further ado... Let's get right into it, starting obviously with the players who have left the club. Well, first of all, we've got Ronaldinho. Um, he was obviously going to leave because he was retiring, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to offer him a new coaching deal. Now, we had offered him a deal and it was looked to be accepted, etc. Under 18's coach. However, the board actually told me that um, we couldn't actually manage that because there was some kind of problem with the number of coaching staff, etc. So he, his contract got cancelled and so he's now free however we have made a bid for him to get him back as a coach so fingers crossed that'll come off um, so yeah Ronaldinho was the first to leave the club um, just retiring from football after a fairly illustrious career including a nice wee um, you know 12 league appearances for us 6 starts, 6 off the bench um, 2 cup appearances and one off the bench so they did fairly well for us considering his age um, and just what we got from him what we wanted from him from the first place we've got so yeah so Ronaldinho first to leave the club next up is one that you probably wouldn't have seen coming it's a loan deal for Chris Smalling to Paris Saint-Germain now I had thought of um, how to go about this and the idea is that basically he will go to Paris Saint-Germain um, we get a hundred grand a, a month or whatever. It's not not really a big deal. Um, they pay his. Oh, sorry, we don't actually get that at all. Shut up, Ian. They pay hundred percent of his wages, and they've got an optional deal for him. So, yeah, Chris Smalling wasn't going to get many games this season, so I think that's a a decent deal. Third transfer again. It's another loan. Um, Cameron Borthwick Jackson. <coughs> what he's doing is he's just um. He played 37 times for Wolves last season. He's just continuing his development at another championship club, Birmingham. Um, again, he wasn't going to get a game this season, so I feel like that is good progress for the lad. Uh, needs game time, and I think Birmingham's the place to do it. He's on a contract, which will see him be a first-team player for them. They pick up 10 grand a week of his wages, uh, was we pay two. <coughs> can't really complain about that so Cameron Brothwick Jackson to Birmingham another one that will be a bit of a surprise to you is Anthony Martial to PSG on loan now Martial did okay for us last year um, 16 games to uh, 12 goals considering most of them were off the bench that's not a bad uh, ratio however I, I just feel that he's not really improved as much as I'd want him to so we've discussed it with PSG. Um, he's going to go over there on loan next season, uh, hundred grand a month, um, and they pay majority of his wages. Um, we just got eleven grand a week to pay. Um, optional future fee. They've got thirty million. I think that's fair for the young lad. I think just get him over there and see how he does. See if he can get some goals uh, while he's over there, and then take it from there. Next is another loan out. Uh, Montpellier came in for Adnan Janazai and we really couldn't say no. I mean, he did well last season on loan at Sunderland, 
Um, and I think just now, again, it's time for him to keep on going out on loan, um, make that progression that we know he has to before he comes back to Man United, see how he does, and hopefully he'll improve, become a more rounded player. So, yep, Jan Zay awaiting Montpellier for the season. Very happy with that one. The final player leaving on loan is Wayne Rooney. Now, this won't surprise a lot of you because, to be honest, he annoyed the hell out of me last season. Um, he's now on loan at Rennes um, after previously being away in Red Bull Salzburg. Now, Rooney, to be honest, he just pisses me off severely. So, to get 47 grand a week on a loan contract and 115 grand a month, I'll take that. Now they've got an option of to buy him for a million because I'm just wanting rid of him. I don't think they'll ever pay that because he won't be able to afford his wages. But these are the things that happen. He's away, quite happy with that. It's forty-seven grand a week saved. No one he'd said the guy's a pain in the arse. Youngster Regan Poole joins Oxford for twenty thousand pound. No real thoughts about this. To be honest, he's just he's a youngster. He's not going to progress at Man United that much more. Um, glad to get him off the wage bill. Next up is a strange one as well. Alex Adonis. Now, initially I'd thought this guy would be here for the duration and you'll just see out his career here, be a coach, etc. But he started complaining that he wanted more first team football. So, I played him in the last few games of the season. Um, I think I played him in about five games in a trot. He still ca- came in and complained that he wasn't getting games. So, I decided, right, that's enough of you. Um, transfer listed them and sold them to Fiorentina for what was 4.4 million so that's a decent enough deal for us and um, quite happy with that um, he played seven times for us and actually played nine times for us all, all in uh, two goals not a spectacular performance but it's what he gave the youngsters as well and that's the whole point with these older guys you bring them in for a season or so you might have to pay them a wee bit extra, um, but they train your youngsters, and that's in the end of the day what we're looking for. So add the to Fiorentina, delighted with that deal, and hopefully um, he'll do fairly well for Fiorentina. I hope he does. Third choice goalkeeper Sergio Romero finds himself now at Middlesbrough. A 5.5 million deal could rise to 7.5 million. Happy with that. 30 year old Argentinian, very experienced. But I felt like he wasn't adding much to the squad, so happy to just you know cut the ties really. One that you'll have already seen earlier on in the season was Phil Jones signing for FC Bayern Munich. Happy with that. I mean, thirteen point seven five million for a player that was never really going to be part of my squad. Very happy with that kind of money um, for Phil. I mean, I think he played one game. Five games in total over all the different league, um, different competitions last season. Never going to get a game properly. So to get thirteen point seven five from delighted. And last but certainly not least, for the transfers out, Juan Mata to Chelsea. The diminutive midfielder was asking loads of questions about wanting out, wanting out, yada yada yada. He wanted us to spend a lot of money on players to keep him happy. So to me, getting £23 million for him was ideal. Gets him off the wage bill, is grand a week off the wage bill and also gets us money into the club to, to splash out on the players you'll see in a wee while. Um, delighted with that. We didn't feature in hardly any games near the end of the season so uh, we won't really be missing that much. His... Uh, he is a world. He's down as a world class attacking midfielder, but I just feel like it's just ego. Just kind of was too much for the team. So happy to get rid of him and good transfer fee got for him. Now on to the transfers then, and I think you'll all agree that this section is slightly more interesting than transfers out. Always is for me. See who we're going to be playing with next season. First up, a younger player from Bayern Munich. Probably won't feature in the first team much, if at all, but we'll try and progress him as much as we can. Youngster Leonard Fay. Now, on the face of it, looks okay, developmental player. Bring him in, see how he does, improve him, 
sell them on for a big profit. Simple fact. That's what I'm looking for. So, yeah, decent attacking midfielder. Not really much else to say about him. Brought in for a meagre two and a half million. So, he's on a quite a low deal as well, £100 a week. So, relatively happy with him. He's actually played a game for Bayern Munich as well. So, it's not like it's just us that saw his potential at 16 years old. So yeah, Leonard Fay fairly happy with bringing him in. Next up is thirty-three-year-old Arjun Robin. Well, for a f- you know a fairly low fee, um, of three point seven million, I'll take Arjun Robin. Um, great player, fantastic player, bit of an asshole in real life. Let's face it, but a good player in the game, and I think he'll improve the squad greatly, just merely for depth, and also to train up the youngsters. So, but Arjun Robin definitely wanted to add good squad depth. One that's been off in a while was the transfer of Andrea Pinamonte from uh, Inter Milan to ourselves for 11 million. It's a long term prospect, I think, to be honest. Um, he's got so much potential, and I can sell on value. This guy is going to be tremendous. He's still good enough to get a game, you know, just now for most Premiership sides. But, in my opinion, his upside is his potential. And I'm really hoping that, that we can develop that within this save. So, Andrea Pinamonte, delighted with his signing. One that you'll all know about from previous episodes that I've uh, streamed is that Giorgio Cellini will be signing for us. What a signing he is going to be. He's 32 years old, so not going to get any better, but... His experience at the back will really help a lot. And I think this season especially, going forward, um, he's got the potential to be one of our best players this season. And also the fact that he can train up the youngsters as well. Totally, totally delighted with that. So, Cialini, welcome to the club. Cialini's centre defensive partner from Juventus, Leonardo Bonucci, also signs for, I think, £44 million. Um, So... They've both come over here, and again, similar to um, Chiellini in that he is an excellent defender. He'll be so good for us now and also for training up the youngsters. Um, he's a natural-born leader. I mean, he just oozes class. So, really happy with seeing another world-class centre-back. The three biggest signs of the window come next. First of all, Paolo Dybala. I didn't want to spend an awful lot of money on strikers, however, I kind of did, just because, A, just because we could, and B, because I think that overall, these guys will help this side dramatically. The strength and depth is going to be incredible that we've got. So first up is Paolo Dybala, the former Juventus striker signed a long-term deal um, for £68 million, which I'm delighted at. He's just got everything. I mean, the guy is just a genius on the ball. Um, not much more needs said. You guys all know Paolo Dybala by now. What a signing. And let's hope that he can continue this for many a year to come. As I intimated in a previous episode, Antoine Griezmann signed for Man United. This again shows the intent that we've got to progress this club to the next level really happy with him and at the end of the day I just said use the transfer budget available uh, to sign the best players that we can to make sure that this team is in a position to challenge for Champions League to win the Premiership title without any problem so realistically speaking what a signing Antoine Griezmann is he signs for us for a whopping 79 million and the most expensive sign in the transfer window, Gonzalo Higuain. Again, another one from Juventus, and again, delighted to make the signing. He just oozes class in everything he does, and I just think for the money we've paid from, to get him in along with the others means that we have such a strong squad going into the new season. So, absolutely delighted with him, and what I'll do is I'm going to play through the friendlies and I'll be right back with you at the for the chat the community shield game against Tottenham.
So, if you enjoyed this wee transfer video, drop a like on it, uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.